so hello everyone welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i've posted the last video so yes i'm back again so today we will solve this question called controllers so you are at your grandparents house and you are playing an old video game on a strange console your controller has only two buttons and each button has a number written on it so your score is zero initially and game is composed of n rounds and the ith round works as follows so on the screen a symbol si appears means the ith character of that string appears which is either plus or minus so we have to press only one button out of those two buttons means controller will have only two buttons and we have to press exactly one button exactly one time so if you press a button with the number x written on it your score will increase by x if the symbol was x and it will decrease by x if the symbol was minus so after you press the button the corresponding round ends so after you have played all n rounds if your score is zero then you will win and if it is not zero or if it is impossible to make it zero you will lose so yes over the years your grandparents bought many different controllers so you have q of them so it is basically given uh, queries so we have to check for each query if the first button contains this first number and second button contains this second number is it possible to make score zero after n rounds so this is kind of a uh, question which involves some mathematical uh, computations uh, defining some variables and playing around with them and uh, and conclude some inequalities or some some properties like that so we'll check how it goes for this question so i have copied this these test cases on uh, this whiteboard so let us check so what i can do here is that suppose in this string in this given string suppose there are po positive characters means number of po is equal to number of positive characters and ne is equal to number of negative characters negative character means minus n so suppose uh, i label i label first button as a not first button as a the value on it as a and the value on the second button as b okay so uh, what i will do is that for p1 times for p1 times when the sign is positive for the p1 times i'll select a and for n1 times i'll select a when the sign is negative I'll repeat again when the sign is positive I'll select a for p1 times and uh, automatically b will get selected po minus p1 times okay and if I select a when the sign is negative uh, n1 times then automatically b will get selected n e minus n1 times okay so initially your score was 0 and after performing all the operations your score must be zero if you want to win okay so how will be score calculated so it is simply a into p1 because p1 is for positive characters uh, plus or you can say uh, let's go this way so a p1 minus a n1 and plus b into p o minus p1 minus b into n e minus n1 is equal to 0 and notice that p1 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to p o 
and also n1 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to n e so how can you if this is the constraint because how can you select the more positive characters or the plus signs uh, if there are uh, not more than that okay so basically it is like that and simplifying this we can get so we know uh, we know a we know b we know p o we know n e so what we will try to do is that we'll get p1 and n1 on the one side and all other characters or all the other variables on the second other side and we'll try to derive some range bit a uh, range for the values a uh, certain expression can take which is composed of p1 and n1 so here what i can do is that club p1 here so p1 into p1 into a minus b minus n1 into a minus uh, b plus b into p o minus n e is equal to 0 so here we can see is that a minus b into p1 minus n1 is equal to b into n e minus p o so p1 minus n1 is equal to b into n e minus p o divided by e minus b so uh, i know that uh, from these bounds you can see here p o is greater than or equal to p1 and n e is greater than or equal to n1 and both p1 and n1 are greater than or equal to 0 this expression has the minimum value of minus n1 okay minus n e because n e when the n1 takes the n e value of n e and p1 takes the value of 0 then the most means minimum value of this expression will be minus n e and similarly the maximum value of this expression will be positive p o okay so this whole thing value of this whole thing should lie in this interval otherwise it is not possible okay uh, this is the common sense okay so uh, you argue that what if a minus b is zero what if a minus b is zero what about this expression so when a minus b is equal to zero uh, what you can see is that the values are equal okay so when the values are equal suppose a comma a there must be equal number of negative and positive signs in the expression okay so plus minus plus won't work because uh, always the value assigned to that uh, that character will be a so it will finally become a into p o minus n e score will become a into p o minus n e which is not going to be zero if p o is not equal to any okay and uh, another case is that a can be zero right but in the question we have given that all ais or all the a's are greater than or equal to one so that won't be the case a cannot be zero so if a is equal to b then p o must be equal to n e uh, if the answer have to exist and one more thing is that we can notice that p1 and n1 are integer values okay integer values so this thing b into n e minus p o divided by a minus b should be an integer right should be an integer because if p1 and n1 both belong to integers their sub subtraction will also belong to integer right so this is also the criteria and what else are we left with so nothing right so this is one case we have to check and this is one case we have other another case we have to check that this is in fact an integer and this is the 
third constraint that this value should lie in between minus ne to positive po so relatively a simpler question so just involved some maths so code is pretty sta straightforward you can take a look at this so uh, number of test cases is one actually yes it is and what does it state binary search oh uh, I didn't use any binary search anyways I used some math so taking input n and string so this is a nice way to ensure one based indexing so recently I've been hating zero based indexing because it is quite uh, a hectare task to debug that so positive uh, so initializing this PO and any variables that we discussed in the solution so ll q and taking input q taking input a and b if a is equal to b and positive not equal to negative so outputting no else if they are both satisfied outputting yes and then uh, this module operation to check if it is integer or not if it is not simply outputting no and if it is then we have to check for this range okay so that is basically the solution so one one more thing so you could have optimized this further right uh, in question they didn't state that a uh, string will have at least uh, one character which is different from all other character right characters right so here also before okay we have to take input anyways so no so otherwise yes you could have used one bool variable to check that if the string consists of only one character then then it is impossible to get the uh, score back to zero right so let us try that let us try to submit that also it should take less time i think I mean there will be a case where all the characters in the string are equal right so we can save time uh, we can save time of those comparisons so controllers so if p o is is equal to n or or p o is equal to zero bool always no is equal to false now it will become true no is true then simply output no it's case so this should work right hmm let's see yes it worked and see it took a uh, lot less time right it took 31 milliseconds less right so that is the thing hope you enjoyed the solving this problem and hope you enjoyed the solution to this problem as well so sorry for being inconsistent uh, i had my exams on in recent weeks so now my exams are over i'll be posting regularly hope hope i'll be posting regularly so yes thank you for watching the video consider liking the video and staying subscribed to the channel thank you again